Welcome back, my friends. We're taking a quick stroll through my hood. This week's challenge was completing the 10 kilometers slave route in Cape Town. The last race I did pre-COVID was the 2020 slave route and I absolutely loved it. So when my friend Erin suggested we give it a go, I could not refuse. This is Erin. We've known each other since the age of six and she's one of my dearest friends. She's one rank below a ship's captain and spends many months at sea. She's staying with us for the weekend so that we can do the run together. The Slave Route is a running event with the purpose of raising awareness about our history and heritage. The route passes many heritage sites associated with slavery from Cape Town's past. Cape Town was built by those enslaved from Indonesia and Malaysia and being able to do this route is truly a treat for the senses. The sights and the sounds of Cape Town, the smells and the tastes of the Cook Sisters, and the feeling of being part of such a diverse and vibrant community makes me proud to be Cape Townian. Come run with us and enjoy our city and its history. Where are we going? Uh, the Castle of Good Hope. To get our numbers, we started off at the Cape Town Castle, the oldest surviving building in the country, built in 1666 by the Dutch East India Company. The castle was home to the Dutch Freeburgers and it's where the slaves were imprisoned. Today, it's a national heritage site with two new leaders. Queen Supreme, mother of cats, first of her name. <laughs> Queen Erin! All hail! My royal decree is that Monday to Friday shall now be weekend. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. The start was in between the city hall where the slaves were once housed and the Grand Parade, close to the whipping post where the slaves were once whipped. This was 7 a.m., the 21 kilometer start. Then it was our turn to go at 7.30. The sun was rising and there was a lack of vibe. About 2,021k runners and 2,010k runners. We headed up to District 6 and went past St. Mark's Church, built in 1867, and the Al Azhar Mosque, built in 1887, the oldest mosque in District 6. We have done one kilometer. District 6 was once known as the Soul of Cape Town, with a culturally rich, diverse community before it was torn apart by the apartheid regime in the 60s and 70s. Over 60,000 of its residents were forcibly removed and relocated, their homes torn down, except for the places of worship, only now for this land to stand empty as another heritage site to remind us of our past. It's a very special place. From District 6, we headed towards the Company Gardens via Government Avenue, passing the South African Jewish Holocaust Museum and the Planetarium. The Company Gardens is home to our parliamentary houses and the slave bells when it was once worked by the slaves. The hurling pump was where the slaves pumped water for their masters. We passed by St. George's Cathedral, home to the Archbishop of Cape Town. On our way to the Burkhop, we passed the Palm Tree Mosque, a 1780s prayer room. We headed towards Burkhop with one more downhill run and stop before heading up the ascent to Cook Sister Hill. This was quite a climb. At the foot of Signal Hill is Burkhop, home to the oldest mosque in South Africa and a couple of blocks of colorful houses as a symbol of freedom. History states the Dutch colonists used to lease them to slaves. Her sister hill leads up to the most amazing views of the bay and a reward of some homemade Cape Malay sisters from the community. Okay, mm. let's go. Yeah. It's all downhill. Yes. <laughs> we walked most of the race to enjoy the sights, but we enjoyed running all the downhills. The last two kilometers we went past the Ezeko Slave Lodge 
and the slave tree plaque where the slaves were auctioned. We ended up back at the castle to finish the race on the other side at the Grand Parade and City Hall at the foot of the majestic Table Mountain. What a way to end the race. Thanks to Erin, this was so much fun. And thanks to you for watching and coming along on this run with us and a bit of a history lesson. We made it! How was that for you? Good. Let's go get food. Hope you enjoyed my city. See you next time.